an organization that was formed uh, back in 1973 mm -hmm. um, with the help of the United Nations uh, Economic Commission for, for Africa uh, because uh, of the realization that uh, ports play an important role in the economic development of uh, you know most Africa uh, most countries especially uh, African uh, countries uh, and the the idea was to bring in the southern and east African countries together uh, to start addressing uh, problem and issues uh, around ports not only around development but also uh, around policies and uh, reform issues. Uh, well, with regards to the growth scenario, or scenario that we uh, see playing out right now, uh, it warrants that we have a very strong focus on ports and we see massive changes happening on the East Coast and also in Mozambique, for example, mm -hmm. and now mm -hmm. Namibia, in a sense, also coming on board quite extensively. What kind of policy and regulatory changes do we need to see to cope with the increasing demand and also the growth factor in Southern Africa? Well, I think uh, whatever policy, uh, you know, uh, the politicians are thinking uh, of putting on the table it should be able to facilitate uh, trade and to assist uh, ports in ensuring that uh, the logistic needs of the countries are, are met. What kind of demand are we seeing right now with regards to uh, cargo movements and ships, uh, movements that we're seeing? We know that within the Southern African region, a vast majority of resources are in focus. Also in Mozambique, uh, East Africa, a different uh, resource space is playing out. What, what role would Namibia play and what role has Namibia been playing over the past few years? Well, Namibia will play um, and is playing an important uh, role. I mean, with the discovery of uh, oil around the, the west coast of Africa, uh, you know, facilities such as uh, ship repair facilities uh, are now becoming important. Uh, in South Africa, for instance, uh, we are now handling close to 3 million uh, containers um, a year. Uh, Namibia is also growing. Uh, and from a regional integration point of view, uh, they play quite an important role and hence uh, the, the conference being held in Namibia. We'll talk on the conference in just a bit. With regards to volumes and the, the capacity within the Namibian port, uh, what kind of capacity do we foresee going forward? What is the, the ultimate capacity? Well, currently the, the capacity is much smaller than South African ports, but uh, you know they've been talking to the Japanese and uh, other people, something that they hold very close to, to, to their mm. Uh, you know, to their to their heart. So uh, we will find out actually what the situation is once we get there. But obviously, if you increase capacity extensively, then obviously demand will meet up. Are you operating uh, exactly. at full capacity at this point? Uh, at this point, uh, talking about South African uh, ports, we are not operating at, at full capacity. If you look at coal, for instance, uh, we've got capacity of 91 million tons, and I think we're just close to uh, under under 70. A million tons in containers, uh, with the exception of Durban, uh, we've got plenty of capacity. Mm. With regards to the seminar and the conference that would be held, what are some of the uh, targets that you have in place, uh, that the outcomes that need to be done so that we can the, move forward? The, the theme of the conference is around uh, logistics and ensuring that uh, as uh, administrators of ports around the continent, we begin uh, playing a, a role uh, that would facilitate the, the integration of the, the ports. Uh, for instance, we've been talking with the Angolans in terms of how do we address some of the problems that they are having by working closely together. Uh, we just came back from uh, Tanzania in Dar es Salaam, uh, had conversations uh, with the people at the, at the port in terms of how we can uh, work closely uh, together. We'll be doing the same thing in Namibia this weekend. Uh, with regards to the synergies that could uh, come through from uh, Mozambique, South Africa, and then Nam Port as well, uh, do you find that there is a lot of appetite to work closely together? Oh, there is a lot of uh, appetite. If you take Mozambique, uh, for instance, uh, we are currently uh, working closely uh, with uh, Grenrot, the terminal operator in, in Mozambique, in terms of the shipment of coal into uh, uh, the port of Matola. Uh, they are again uh, working closely with Transnet Freight Rail in terms of the transportation of containers uh, into and out of the port. Uh, we're looking at transportation of cars into Maputo, out of Maputo. So there is that uh, percentage. Mm.